Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Silly Skylines, the British Challenge with me, Pug Gaming. So in the previous episode we completed the work on the city centre shopping area and I did do a little bit more work offline as well, well I say offline is actually um, on Twitch and um, what we've done is we added this little uh, sort of warehouse area alongside the bus station and we also did a bus repair centre next door so somewhere where all the buses will end up to be repaired or just there to wait for the, the next shift really. So the first job here is to get the layout done <clears throat> and um, I'm actually basing this on the Leicester City Football Club. Um, the stadium's on the workshop unfortunately it's not quite what it looks like today um, so I decided not to use the actual proper stadium as much as I was loving to and that's what gave me the inspiration to do a, a build based on the Leicester City Football Stadium but I decided against that in the end and I picked um, I think it was the Feyenoid however you pronounce it um, stadium which I picked up off the workshop and from above that looks pretty much identical to the build of the um, Fox's new stadium um, so the first job was to get the road layout done and as perfect as we possibly could and um, there is a little uh, hotel on the top left hand corner of the stadium as well so like I say I'm trying to base this as much as I can on the layout of the um, actual stadium and surroundings so we're gonna have the car parks down the bottom here and <clears throat> there is actually a few little bits next door to the stadium which if you look on Google Maps, it looks a bit derelict. I don't know if it's like that today, as I say, Google Maps does take some time to, to update itself. But um, next to the stadium, there does seem to be a, um, was it British Gas or it might have been National Grid actually, I think it's National Grid. They have a little um, sort of warehouse stroke factory area just next door, um, all sort of barbed wired up, etc., to keep everyone out. Um, and next door to that is actually a uh, another car park, it's like an overflow car park, but going back to what I said earlier, this is where it pretty much looks all derelict, it um, just looks like a dirty field that people were parked in um, over the years and I was going to hope to try and create that which you'll, you'll get to see a bit later on. So car parks in my opinion are quite hard to build, um, certainly when they only work off the roads if you actually want actively working ones, obviously you can create your own hand built ones which I've done a bit of both in, in this build. But the car parks are always difficult because they only go exactly against the road so as you probably saw earlier in this video I used both the main road as the main core of the road which you get to see but I also used the uh, Trans the, the paths, whatever they're classed as, I forget what they're called, but I use the paths as well which allows cars to drive through and also allows you to um, build upon it as well so I decided to use that um, and as you'll see as well I'm taking full advantage of the uh, new asset, sorry new prop, asset no, new mod sorry, new mod on the workshop, um, the node mob mods and you can move everything around, it's amazing and you can see I've done that with the car parking spaces and you can actually do it the stadium as well. So I've used this quite a lot as well in this build and it certainly has helped me get my detailing down to a T. So this was attempt number one of trying to replicate this uh, sort of abandoned field stroke overflow car park for the uh, stadium. Um, it, didn't look too good the first time around as you'll see um, so I decided to delete that and start again I think I made it a little bit too concretey whereas I'm trying to go for more of a uh, sort of dirt effect um, so we start off with the the gravel texture and then we use all the new decals that are on the workshop which you have to check out they're amazing um, just to add a bit of bit of detail really um, there was no particular way of doing this this is all trial and error but the end result I think works quite well for this area, um, it's fairly realistic in my opinion, um, 
and there's a lot more to build around this. I mean, what I'm thinking of doing is now we've got this this core area based on this uh, based on the Foxes Stadium. I'm going to probably out um, well develop this area and try and imitate what I've seen on Google Maps to sort of create this. It, it does fit in quite nicely. There is a uh, sort of power plant electrical station over the road, which obviously is why this National Grid um, warehouse area is on this corner here so opposite the stadium is a lot of uh, pylons etc which I think looks really cool it's not the most appealing thing for people to see but to build it's something I've not done yet so I'm certainly gonna look to do that in the future so as you just put the last few little bits in here I'm gonna go into a let's play live and we're gonna do a bit of detailing around the stadium um, together and there's a lot of things I've found which I'm gonna try and utilize on, on on this build as well and um, trying to just replicate the whole look of this stadium just try and make it look a bit more realistic the stadiums themselves they're great great assets but they don't quite have everything that you'd like to see on a actual stadium so we're gonna give it a go we'll see what we can do and let's play together okay so the first job is pretty much let's see what we've got in the assets area um, so a few ideas I've got um, as you see, I've already put some bits down. I've got the outline around it, I've added a few lights. Found these pillar things for the front of the stadium, which just make it look a little bit more interesting. Um, a few billboards have been put down already. And yeah, that's pretty much where I've left things for now. So I'm thinking about trying to create a little area here. Um, as you see from most stadiums, you always do have this big concrete arena um, out the front for all the people to gather and sort of make their way to the stadium. I was trying to think of something to sort of break that up a little bit. Um, but let's have a look at what we've got here. Not sure what to do yet though. Um, I'm thinking the grass is going to look a little bit out, out of place really for this area. Um, not really sure the grass is going to work. Um, so we're pretty much just looking through <laughs> the list now of assets, so all sort of 2K's worth of them. Just to see what else you've got here. This, this, this is just my way of getting inspiration for a build. Is I just look for all the props which I found. Obviously I must like them or I wouldn't have downloaded them. So we'll have a look through and see what we can find here. Okay. So yeah, I just don't think that's going to work too well. Okay. Now this could work quite nicely actually. This is basically a shooting um, rack, shooting shed or something. But that on top of this build actually looks like the way in. It looks like the turnstiles. I do like that. I'd prefer if it wasn't a wood sort of texture, but that definitely makes this look more alive. And we've got a entrance point now, so I'm going to do three or four little entrances here. So we'll do a little one here. One, two, we'll probably do. Yep, can we put. Mm, let's leave it as two. Uh, da -da -da. And we'll put a couple in this corner here. there and some more in this corner maybe two here so it looks like and one there okay now I like that that looks really good um, but that's what I love about City Skylines you can find things that aren't meant to be used for something but combined with another asset and the anarchy on you can pretty much make anything you want really. So next job I think is to get some billboards up. You don't go very far around the football stadium without seeing any advertisements so we'll find a few on here. Um, oh a bus okay well, what we'll do here is we'll have some sort of a bus um, drop-off zone. Mostly this is gonna be for the players rather than the actual public so where could we look to put that? So I'm guessing this area is the most spacious. Probably doesn't quite suit the theme in terms Ooh. of realism. But let's put it there. 
and what we can do is we can cone this off a little bit later as well um, just to add realism to it um, but what I was saying yeah it's not fully the best placed area for buses especially when that's where all the uh, players are going to be stopping um, sorry not the players that's where all the fans are going to be coming in but still it's all about the build as opposed to realism sometimes okay so what I want to do is brighten this up as well because this stadium doesn't have any after dark features it doesn't really light up so I'm thinking we're going to add a few lights around this area here okay just to brighten the front up the front's what everyone sees as you drive past and that's what we want to look make it look good for um, okay what else we got here Put a few scattered around one there okay so that's facing that's kind of um, that's basically putting itself onto the stadium so I don't think we'll put these inside the stadium I want to get a bit of color on this as well so we can change the colors here blue one obviously suits the club but the red one does look pretty cool okay and hopefully I can still find the big lights there we go these ones what we'll do is we'll add these on top of the floodlights that there already is on this stadium which like I say don't work and at least then we get the appeal of actual floodlights in the stadium which will one light up the stadium but also light up the rest of the arena as well so that will make things look much nicer um, during the night time so we're gonna add some more lights around here as well and um, want to add a few around this fountain just to make this more of the focal point um, I couldn't find any decent statues um, I mean you do tend to see statues around the stadium of the uh, historical players or the people that were well suited to the club and you know gave a lot towards the club to warrant having a statue but we'll put a few around this um, fountain here and I'm thinking we've got these pots for the trees so we're going to have, have trees in all of them but I'm thinking we can add a um, LED light in each of the ones well one then miss one then go again um, I think that looked quite nice So we'll get those in now. One there, miss one, and across. Okay, so this is more of a nighttime appeal. It's not going to really do much for us um, during the daytime, which is what I play sort of 95% of the time. But it's always good to see what the ambience is like um, for a nighttime scene. So we're going to just fill these last few bits in here. Then it's probably a try at time to add some of the trees. And I've got an idea on which one I want. Um, nothing too big or heavy it's the uh, I forget what the name is but it's the thin sort of piney sort of one um, let's find it okay so I think that's not it that's too big it's this one here so I think these are the best ones to use surrounding the stadium and actually if you look at the stadium itself I'm not sure what it's like today but on Google Maps it seems to show these sort of trees but at a very early age of its of their growth and they're in um yeah so there's basically no leaves or anything on the ones that are at the actual stadium that i can see on, on google maps but we'll add these all the way around to sort of enclose the stadium area and we're just going to jump back into a time lapse now just whilst i finish off the last bit of detail of of this area
So guys, that brings us to the end of episode 24. I may do a bit more detailing off camera, but uh, we've got the core down now and that's the football stadium complete. So I will leave you with this little overview and I'll catch you in my next video. All the best.